Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can download and install CodeBlock IDE on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. Now to download CodeBlocks IDE, simply open your browser and search for CodeBlocks. Let me tell you that CodeBlocks is a free and open source cross-platform IDE used for C and C++ programming. Now to download, simply open the link from codeblocks.org. Don't worry about the download link, I'll put the download link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download CodeBlocks IDE. Now to download, simply click on this download option and here click on download the binary release. Here we have the download page from where we can download CodeBlocks IDE for Windows. Here we have different version of CodeBlocks IDE. So we are going to download CodeBlocks 20.0.3 MinZW setup as we are going to use it for C and C++ programming. Here we have download source. Let me download this from this link. So here we have the website. Here you can see it is downloading and it is around 145 MB. So let me complete the download process and after that I'll show you how you can use CodeBlocks IDE for C programming. Our download has been completed. Now simply open this installer file. Let me minimize the browser. Here we have the setup window. Here you can see welcome to CodeBlocks setup. Here simply click on next. And here just accept the license agreement. And here we have to select our installation type. So from the drop down menu simply select full. Then click on next. And this is the default location where code blog is going to install. If you have a reason to change this location, you can change by clicking on this browse button and you can browse your location. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default, then click on install. And here you can see it is installing, so it will take some time to install. Let me complete the installation process. And here we have an option to open code blocks now. So let me click on no. And here let me click on next. And here click on finish. So we had successfully installed code blocks on Windows 11. Here we have our code blocks launch icon. If you don't get this icon here, then you can simply search for code blocks on the search option. Here we have our code block application. Let me click on open. Here you can see that it has automatically detected the compiler. So just select GNGCC compiler. This compiler compiles C and C++ program. Here click on OK. And here we have an option to make CodeBlocks IDE as a default application for C and C++ source file. If you want to make it default, simply click on Yes, associate CodeBlocks IDE with C and C++ file type. But for now, I'm just going to select No, then click on OK. So this is the interface of CodeBlocks IDE. Now to create your first C program, for that simply click on create a new project. Here from the project option, simply select console file. Then click on go. Here we have console file setup window. Here click on next. And select the programming language you want to use. I am going to create C program. I will simply select C. Then click on next. And here simply name the project title. Let me name it as demo and select the location where you want to save the file. For that, simply click on this icon and select the location, then click on select folder. And here click on next. And here we have an option to select compiler. From the drop down menu, simply select GNGCC compiler. Then click on finish. Here we have our project hierarchy. So here we have our workspace and we had created demo project. Inside this demo project, we have a source folder. Inside this source folder, you will find your main.c file. So here we have a simple program that will print hello world. Now to run this program, first of all, we have to build the program. For that, simply click on this build option. After you had built the program, simply click on run option. And here on our console, here we have hello world. Let me tell you that if you want to learn C programming, then we already have a C programming tutorial. You can watch that tutorial. I'll put the tutorial link in the description box. So that's it. This is how you can install CodeBlocks IDE on Windows 11. 
Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.